my presentation is full of pictures because I think that's a very nice way to communicate information. And actually humans are really very used to communicate and understand things by imaging. Other words are good, but imaging are very, very informative. And I try some kind of making a sentence of seeing the world with other eyes, trying to, to get this feeling that the machine is, yeah, it's something like your eye, to see material, to understand compositional differences in the material. And just a little bit story about starting from the Artax, which was an instrument that was developed something like 10 to 12 years ago under company for, especially for the analysis of art with X-ray fluorescence, then it went to the M4 tornado, and then now we have the M6 jet stream. Just a little bit of a story, but very quickly. So the Artax started, so it used to say the Cathedral of Cologne, we're measuring the Shrine of the Three Kings. So the idea is that you bring your instrument to analyze your object that you cannot take into the lab. So from that one, that was the beginning of, of the analysis of micro XRF in art and conservation with a quite transportable instrument. It's not portable, it's transportable. And then the other part of our company is related to the producing these uh, uh, SD detectors and all the software which is dealing with energy dispersive analysis. So what we did is we put everything that we know from the software point of view to analyze an energy dispersive of uh, the, the data coming and the X-ray. So we just merged these two one and create something like six years ago, the M4 tornado, which was a fast instrument. And fast is important key here to understand the chemical distribution. So you get these kind of elemental mappings that you will see here. And actually, which is the base that we use for understanding you know, homogeneity of material. The problem is one developer, this one, people start screaming, oh, wow, you did a box. My sample doesn't fit in that box. I, can you make a difference? Say, okay. Uh, so we did that kind of thing, which was a prototype, which is already now something like five or six years around. Uh, that been visiting very many, a lot of museums around the world and helping people to, to measure paintings. So now, something like three years ago, we got a product, which is the M6 jet stream that we will see later. So in principle, here is the box, so people get a little bit of claustrophobic when they have a large object, but now we solve the problem with these. So they have different options, I will not go into much detail. The Artex is still available, uh, small for the point and short area scan, the other one is really as a fast instrument for scanning analysis. So we have the instrument, the idea is to operate in two ways. So you can put your painting directly and measure that on an easel, which is a very typical way of operating the instrument. But sometimes you have a problem that your sample is either too fragile, to be just put like that, and you want to have it on a table, or yeah, it's something that you cannot hang easily. So then we decided to make the instrument to operate in the two positions. The one that you will see later will be operated in the up right position. Now I'm just, that's the last slide about technology. Everything else will be about data and what do we see. Um, in principle, no, nothing is finished. It's always a process. We keep it on improving, so please, if you have wishes, just ask, just tell me, so we can see what we can do. We're always looking for new things to integrate. Uh, one of the few new things that we developed for the M4, uh, M6 sorry, is the possibility of having a helium flush so that we create a vacuum-like conditions for the X-ray fluorescence. So you see here, this is a case of a glass. We can go down to see sodium, which is not possible at the moment because the air the air really <coughs> absorbing all of these low energy signals. That's one thing that we included. Now the large area detectors, we went from 30 square millimeters to 60, which is the one that we have here, and also the signal processing unit, which means how much signal we can get from the sample. As we, the idea is, if you already are irradiating your sample, try to get as much signal as possible, so that you're not irradiating and just losing that information. 